Good morning, Year 6, and welcome to your first reading lesson of a brand new half term. The first thing I'd like you to do is have a little look at this picture and complete your retrieve, your infer and your predict task. Just in case you've forgotten over half term, for your retrieve, you're going to say what you can see. I can see and then tell me. Don't make inferences at this point. Just tell me what you can see. This is a little bit like find and retrieve in your reading comprehensions. Next, complete your infer. I think and tell me what you think and then say because and give me some evidence from the text. This is just like a two or three marker in your reading comprehension. And finally, a predict. If this was a story, what was going to happen next? I predict that. And then if you can use because and back it up with some evidence that you can see in the picture, that's perfect. Again, that's like answering a two or three mark question on your reading comprehension. Pause the video here and complete your retrieve, your infer and your predict picture task. So the text we're looking at today is Stay Where You Are and Then Leave by John Boyne. I'm going to read to you the blurb now. The day the First World War broke out, Alfie Summerfield's father promised he wouldn't go away to fight. But he broke that promise the following day. Four years later, Alfie doesn't know where his father might be. Other than that, he's away on a special secret mission. Then, while shining shoes at King's Cross Station, Alfie unexpectedly sees his father's name on a sheaf of paper belonging to a military doctor. Bewildered and confused, Alfie realises his father is in a hospital close by, a hospital treating soldiers with an unusual condition. Alfie is determined to rescue his father from this strange, unnerving place. So before you access your text today, there's a couple of words that you need to be aware of. Tripe, parlour, tussling and milk float. So for each of these words, can you research them in a dictionary or online and find their definitions? You'll want to write down these definitions underneath your find, you sort of your retrieve, your infer and your predict task to show me that you have gone away and learned what these words mean. These words are key to understanding the text today. On the right hand side, I put a few pro, uh, proper nouns for you of names of people you'll meet during this text. You've got the Summerfield family, so the Summerfields, you've got Bill Hemperton, Mrs. Smythe and Mr. Asquith. OK, make sure you have completed both your pre-learning tasks, so your uh, retrieve, your infer and your predict and your vocabulary check. And now it's time to read the extract and answer the questions. Today I've given you a big chunk of the extract, but you only actually need to read up to page four to answer the questions. If you're enjoying the extract, then of course you can read further. The questions will only go up to page four. Each of the questions have a go. You'll see that for remote learning, for now, we've taken off the guided questions and I've replaced them with a subtitle of optional questions. These are questions that you can do once you've completed the independent questions if you need some extra uh, questions. If you send your work to me um, before the deadline and you've not had a go at these optional questions, I'll probably send you back to complete them. Because we're working on a bit of a stricter time limit now for remote learning, Here's some tips on how to complete your comprehension in the right amount of time. First of all, remember to read through the text. And at the beginning, you're just skim reading it through to get a general idea of what's going on and where certain events happen. For each of the questions, have a go first and then let your teacher know which questions you are stuck on after you've answered the rest of them. So you're stuck on a question, for example, number three, then have a little go first and then move on and complete the rest of the questions. It's a lot quicker for you to message your teacher once you've completed your comprehension and say, I wasn't sure on questions three and eight. And then your teacher can help you with those rather than sitting on questions three and eight for quite a while, getting help and then having the rest of the comprehensions complete. Remember, don't send the comprehension with missing questions unless you've already spoken to your teacher about your difficulties with those questions. Depending on who your assigned adult is today, you might send your work to um, your class teacher or it might be a TA. Make sure you check first who you're supposed to be sending your work to before you do so.